Hi everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello Chickpea. Hello Treacle. Hi Stomp and Chirp. Hi Lennon. Hi Scoff. <laughs> hello Jangle. You're right. It's very windy today, Chickpea. Yes. Let's wrap up warmly and go outside and play. <laughs> Spring, summer, autumn and winter, these are all the seasons. Spring, summer, autumn and winter, these are all the seasons. Watch daffodils sprout in spring. playing with the others. <laughs> ah, it's too windy for you. Your hairy mane would blow all over the place. Poor Lennon. <laughs> Listen, that's Jangle. Let's go outside and discover what she's doing. Are you all ready to join the dots and find out? Here we go. One. Two, three, four. Have you guessed what Jangle's doing? You're right. She's flying a kite. Hi, Jangle. <laughs> yes, it's very windy today. Perfect weather to fly a kite. <gasps> and look at all the leaves blowing in the wind. Listen, everybody, that's Scoff. He must need our help. Let's go. I think Scoff needs us to help him dress for the cold weather. Should Scoff wear a warm coat or a T-shirt? You're right, a warm coat. Sunglasses or some warm gloves? Yes, of course, warm gloves. A nice warm woolly hat or a sun hat. You're right again, a warm woolly hat. Thanks, everybody. There you go, Scoff. You're wrapped up warm now and ready to play outside. <coughs> Story time. Today's story is called Lennon's Clothes. It was a very cold morning and Chickpea's world was covered in a blanket of snow. Lennon was so excited, he couldn't wait to go outside and play, but he couldn't find his woolly blue hat, scarf or gloves to keep him warm. I'll go and ask the others if they've seen them, said Lennon. So off he went to the kitchen where Scoff was enjoying a warm drink. Scoff, have you seen my woolly blue hat? Yes, here it is, said Scoff, pointing at the teapot. It's been very handy for keeping the water warm. 
How strange, Lennon thought, a hat on a teapot. But he thanked Scoff, took his hat and off he went. Next, Lennon found Chickpea relaxing on the sofa in the living room. Hi, Lennon, she said. Hey, Chickpea, have you seen my woolly blue gloves anywhere? Oh, do you mean these? asked Chickpea, looking down at her feet, wriggling her toes. Lennon couldn't believe his eyes. Why are my lovely gloves on your smelly feet? he said. I haven't got smelly feet, replied Chickpea. My feet were cold and the gloves are keeping them warm. Well, that's the silliest thing I've heard all day, said Lennon. So Lennon had found his hat and gloves. But where could his scarf be? Suddenly, he heard a loud noise coming from upstairs. Ah, choo! The noise was coming from Stomp's bedroom. Lennon climbed the stairs. Oh, Lennon, I feel terrible, said Stomp. I can't stop sneezing. Poor Stomp, thought Lennon. And then he noticed that there was something strange wrapped around Stomp's trunk. Stomp, he asked, why have you got a blue trunk? Well, I found this very nice scarf, so I wrapped it around my trunk to keep it warm, he said. I must say it's doing a great job. Lennon was just about to say that it was his scarf when he thought perhaps Stomp needed the scarf more than him. I'm glad the scarf is helping, Stomp, he said. I'll go and make you a nice cup of lemon and honey. The water in the teapot is lovely and warm. On his way back downstairs, Lennon chuckled to himself whilst thinking about how useful his winter clothes had been to all his friends. <laughs> the weather today is perfect for drying clothes on the washing line, warm and breezy. Jangle's busy hanging socks on the line. There's a small sock. And a big sock. But which one is the smallest? This one? This one? Or this one? Yes, you're right! The pink sock is the smallest. Well done, everyone! We've had fun today. See you for more adventures with Chickpea and her friends next time. Spring, summer, autumn and winter, these are all the seasons. Watch daffodils sprout in spring, all the flowers are blooming. Watch the lambs all cute and white, prancing freely in delight. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello Chickpea. Hello Treacle. Hi Stomp and Chirp. Hi Lennon. Hi Scoff. <laughs> hello Jangle. 
Sports Day today. Can we join in too? <laughs> Breakfast, lunch and dinner is a good idea, don't you think? <laughs> Let's get moving, come on everyone Jumping up and down is lots of fun Eating food that's fresh and healthy Helps us all to grow, yes you and me <laughs> Playing different games and sports, let's go and try them all Swimming, dancing, cycling, running, even basketball. Let's get moving, come on everyone. Jumping up and down is lots of fun. Eating food that's fresh and healthy. Helps us all to grow, yes. Helps us all to grow, yes. Helps us all to grow, yes. Stay today in Chickpea's world. And look, Scoff and Chickpea are warming up on the trampoline. Hi, you two. <laughs> You're right. Bouncing up and down is great fun and a great way to keep fit. <laughs> Have either of you two seen Lennon? <laughs> he was playing in the ball pit when you last saw him. Great. Let's go and find him. See Lennon anywhere? Can you? <laughs> there you are! Oh, you're warming up in the ball pit before you take part in the sack race with Stomp and Chirp. That's a good idea. But remember, it doesn't matter who wins, doing your best is what's important, Lennon. between these two pictures of the tug of war? Look carefully. You're right. There's a red flag on the rope in this picture, but not in this picture. Well done, everyone, for spotting the difference. Story time! Today's story is called Chickpea and the Apple Tree. It was a lovely sunny day. All the animals were out playing and keeping fit in the park, except for Chickpea, who was in the kitchen preparing a fresh fruit salad for tea. She'd carefully sliced the bananas, oranges and strawberries and placed them in a big bowl. Chickpea looked at her colourful fruit salad. Hmm, something's missing, she thought. What could it be? Then she remembered. Apples! I'll go to the orchard and pick some. So Chickpea went to fetch her basket and off she went. She arrived at the orchard and gazed up at the big tall tree with plenty of juicy apples hanging from its branches. Suddenly she remembered that it was usually Jangle's job to pick the apples as she had such a long neck. How am I going to reach them? Chickpea wondered. I'll have to jump. So she took a deep breath and jumped as high as she could, again and again, flapping and stretching her little wings as far as they would go. But there was no way she was going to reach those apples. Oh no, she sighed. What am I going to do? There'll be no apples for my fruit salad. Then, who came strolling along but Dewey the dinosaur. He stopped beside one of the trees, admiring the big, red, juicy apples. Suddenly, Chickpea had a brilliant idea. 
Quietly, she jumped onto Dewey's back so she could reach the apples. Dewey didn't notice a thing. He was too busy daydreaming. Yes! Chickpea whispered triumphantly and quickly collected the apples in her basket before sliding back down Dewey's tail. Later that afternoon, all the animals were enjoying their fresh fruit salad. Thank you for our tasty tea, said Jangle. She gazed out of the window towards the orchard, then turned to her little friend, slightly confused. Chickpea, she asked, how did you manage to reach the apples high up in the tree? Ah, said Chickpea, smiling, I found an excellent stepladder. <laughs> Look everyone, it's the egg and spoon race and Chirp is in the lead. Let's cheer her on together. Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> She's won! Well done, Chirp! Can you guess what's hiding in this picture? Let's join the dots together and find out. Ready? One, two, three, four. Have you guessed yet? <laughs> You're right, it's a ball. Stomp loves playing ball. Look, everyone, it's the sack race. That's it, Lennon. You're doing great. <gasps> hey, let's all jump up and down and pretend we're in the sack race, too. Oh, <laughs> yes, this is so much fun. <laughs> Sports Day's been great. See you for more adventures with Chippy and her friends next time. Let's get moving, come on everyone. Jumping up and down is lots of fun. Eating fun that's fresh and healthy. Helps us all to grow, yes you and me. Don't forget to eat fruit, drink water and a breakfast, lunch and dinner is a good idea, don't you think? <laughs> Let's get moving, come on everyone Jumping up and down is lots of fun Eating food that's fresh and healthy Helps us all to grow, yes you and me Playing different games Everyone, are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Treacle. Hi, Stomp and Chirp. Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scoff. <laughs> hello, Jangle. You're having a colours day today. How exciting! Can we come too? Let's go outside and play 
grass below is bright and green The same as all the trees Colors brilliant and bright Oh, some are dark and some are light Colors red, green and blue Colors everywhere around me and you Chickpea and her friends are having a colours day in school today. Red's your favourite colour, is it, Chickpea? Is that why you've brought a red apple with you to school? Well, red's my favourite colour too. Mmm, and that apple looks very tasty, Chickpea. spot the difference between these two pictures? Look carefully. Do you know what it is? You're right. The apples in this picture are green, but the apples in this picture are red. Chickpea's favourite colour. Well done everyone for spotting the difference. everyone. Here's Jangle and Lennon. Can you guess what their favourite colour is? <laughs> You're right. Green. Jangle is busy painting a picture of Bobby, the green frog. And Lennon is painting a picture of Dewey, the green dinosaur. I think all the animals are enjoying Colours Day in school today. Rainbow. Do you know how many colours are in a rainbow? You're right, seven. Can you name them? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. Violet. Well done, everyone. Story time. Today's story is called Treacle's Rainbow. The sun was shining and Chirp and Treacle were outside in the garden. Treacle was painting a picture of a colourful rainbow. There, she said, looking at the picture proudly. Finished. Treacle was about to tidy up when she noticed that something was missing from her painting. She stared at it for a long time, wondering what it could be. Chirp, Treacle asked her friend as she flew overhead, do you think there's something missing from my painting? You've forgotten purple, said Chirp. <gasps> yes, you're right, said Treacle. Thank you. Treacle picked up her brush to dip into the purple paint, when she realised that there was none. Oh no, cried Treacle. I can't finish the rainbow now. Don't worry, said Chirp. Perhaps we can find something else that's purple for you to use instead. After searching the garden and house for something purple, Treacle found a purple sock and Chirp found a purple scarf and a flower. I don't think any of these are going to help me with my painting, said Treacle. Suddenly, they heard a noise. It was Stump eating a slice of toast and blackcurrant jam. <gasps> blackcurrant jam! cried Treacle excitedly. It's exactly the right colour. Back in the garden, Treacle dipped her brush into the gooey purple jam and brushed some onto her picture. But suddenly, the brush was stuck. Oh, no, cried Treacle. I can't get it off the paper. Pull harder, cried Stomp and Chirp. And then suddenly, the brush came loose and flew into the air. 
Chirp tried to catch it, but lost her balance and fell into the pot of red paint. Hang on, Chirp, said Stomp, rushing over to help his friend. But his foot knocked against the pots of paint. The pot of blue paint landed on top of Chirp's head. <gasps> Poor Chirp, said Treacle. But then she noticed something amazing. Chirp was purple. <gasps> Chirp, you've made purple paint, cried Treacle. Red and blue mixed together makes purple. After having a bath, Stomp, Chirp and Treacle sat in the garden admiring Treacle's finished painting whilst eating slices of toast and blackcurrant jam. I think purple is my new favourite colour, said Chirp. <gasps> Me too, agreed Treacle. Now we know how to make it, we don't need to use jam. They all started to giggle. Can you guess what's hiding in the picture? Let's join the dots together and find out. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. It's a guitar. A blue guitar. Scoff's favourite colour. See you for more adventures with Chickpea and Friends next time. Colours, brilliant and bright, all summoned up in summer light. Colours, red, green and blue, colours everywhere around me and you. Red, the colour of the engine tackling the flames. Blue, the sky, let's go outside and play. Within, and the grass will